As far as I know, this is the world's second biggest glass Klein bottle. But with the help of my friend Lucas Clark, we're going to try to turn this into maybe not a bigger Klein bottle, but perhaps a longer one. In front of me, Lucas Clark and his hot torch. Grab it and go. Slow it down. Almost. We got, we're broken. We're broken. Time to get another Klein bottle. We'll try the same yeah, thing, except I'll yeah. slow down. As soon as I start feeling yeah. it hard, I'll slow it down. Yeah. Really fast in the beginning and then slow right down. Yeah. Yeah. And again, ready to go soon? When you put it in my hand, I'll take it. Okay. Ready? Right. And, and right done. Ooh. All else works yet. Just put your hand on that. There we go. Notice how it bends. <laughs> bends to a point. We lost another one. Get it hot. And then go right down. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're going to cut this. Then we can. Heat around the side, heat around the side. Once we get it gooey, gooey hot, take off running. Hold on, why don't I heat this here? Ready? And go. Fine. Well done. I almost need a spool. This is like I've field surgery. This. I've got this. It's the most elongated Klein bottle in the world. It's zero volume and yet it goes down my driveway and back up. It's not orientable, and yet it's oriented down on a piece of brown paper. So these these fine bits here, they're still... They're hollow. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna happen, and then, you know, we switched up, went with the steadier runner. Okay, uh, uh, uh. It's one, two, three, four, it's about five meters down that way and five back. You can see it, there's the, there they are. You can see it goes all the way down. Here's where it loops around and heads back on itself here. Does 490 centimeters plus it came up five, five meters there and back. So it's 10 meters total travel. A 10 meter Klein bottle. A 10 meter long Klein bottle. Wow, this is like gossamer. This is like the yeah, hardest yeah. thing to film like in the history of filming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's get um, um, bad lighting, hey, invisible look at, filaments. Look, look, I'm <laughs> I mean, could a lick, uh, you said that tube was hollow. Yes. Surely you couldn't get water through that, could you? Or? You could. You could. You could. You could. But you'd have to be careful about it. Yeah. If you heat it up and drive out all those gases, as it cools down, it'll shrink and contract and pull the water up into it. Hey, Pat. Maybe he just wants to show his wife. I would. Yeah, come on, yeah. Doug. <laughs> Bobby, it's so cool. Worth mentioning is this tube not only could perhaps conduct water, but it certainly conducts light. It's a fiber optic. And the physics and math of fiber optics is fascinating. You get light bouncing back and forth and back and forth. And the fiber optic internally is not just, not just glass, but it's gradiated glass. The index of refraction changes from the outside to the inside. Fiber optics are solid, usually. This one is hollow, as a good Klein bottle ought to be. My wife, Pat, over here. You gotta come and have a look, Pat? Uh, I'm, I'm hey, taking a look. Did, did yeah. Cliff make you come out and look at his new yeah. Klein bottle? Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. see this. Check this out. Don't walk on top of it. Notice 
Notice, Pat, I there's know. a, yep. the, this duck bill over here is the beginning of the top of the Klein model. It goes all the way down the driveway to where Lucas is, comes back around here, back to here. This is yeah. the longest Klein bottle. Wasn't there a uh, movie about the longest day? This is the longest Klein bottle. My God. Hey, my son. Alarm! Oberstleutnant, the invasion is there. 5,000 ships are there. Lange Klein Flaschke. Lange Klein Flaschke. It's the most zero volume of zero volume Klein bottles. I could almost hear Felix Klein turning over in his grave. Oh, <laughs> the poor guy. Is that visible, Brady? Yeah, yeah at times. It's gossamer thread. At time, the sunlight at times catches it, and yeah, it's all right. Oh. It's a spider web. Hold on, you're caught around the camera. I think maybe I'll even wear it as a necklace. But this is clearly, by any measure, the longest. Glass, and we finally finish it. And I say, this is a glass Klein bottle. So I say, I'll go over to the math department in Berkeley, and I'll show my friend Ken Ribbit this, this Klein bottle. He's a topologist. He'll actually appreciate it. Heading over to where I store bottles under my house. 